All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for UFC 148, Silva versus Sun and 2. So, um, this fight was in the making for a really, really long time. I mean, it's been like two years since we saw them fight the first time, and a lot of people wanted there to be a rematch. Immediately after that, Ed Soros and uh, Anderson Silva were like, you know, he doesn't deserve a rematch, This, all this kind of stuff. So Vitor Belfort fought him next. And then, of course, uh, he had the injury, had to heal up. And so two years in the making, we finally get to see the rematch. Now, uh, that being said, you know, when you're waiting for something for that long, for a couple of years like that, a lot of times it gets hyped to such a level that it can't possibly, you know, um, <laughs> pay off the hype. Um, you know, just because of the fact that it's been so long, there's been there's just so much, uh, you know, uh, hype built up around it that when you actually get down to it it's just it's just a fight you know um and so you know was it a little lackluster i think it was a little lackluster um i think a lot of us expected it to be closer than it actually was now that being said grant it was fairly close in that it ended in the second round of course um but i mean like in the first round we get to see um chael takes down anderson right away pretty much uh does what he does best but didn't really do much damage at all it was pretty well neutralized uh, i was thinking they were going to stand it up a couple times but uh the ref allowed uh chael to stay down there with uh you know um in uh half guard most of it and then eventually at the end in uh full mount but it was he didn't really do much damage at all and then um you know, start of the second round, they come out. Anderson shows some great takedown defense. Um, and, you know, pretty funny. I don't know what Chael was thinking. He throws, I don't know if he was nervous, if he was angry, if he was just, I, I don't really know what it was. Throwing a, a spinning back fist like that. Maybe he tried, was trying to surprise him, but got off balance, of course. And, uh, uh, you know, one thing about it is like, you know, if you can make someone miss, you know, um, it, it can it can throw off their whole game. You know, it takes uh, what do they say? Like three times as much energy to miss than it does to to hit. I mean, even even blocking. Like if you can make someone totally miss and totally evade them, which Anderson obviously is a pro at, then they're going to waste a lot of energy. <laughs> and th this was a perfect example of that. You know, Chill just kind of falls down. I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and Anderson throws his knee, and and I don't know, man, because it. Rogan's like, oh no, yeah, that's that's totally legit. You can do that. That's that's a, a legal knee. That's fine. It's to the body. But Anderson wasn't really throwing it to the body. He looked like he was throwing it to the head. But Chael, you know, kind of blocked it and rolled, and so it kind of landed down more sort of in his solar plex area, and just you know, uh, obviously shocked his whole body and knocked the wind out of him. And then of course we see Anderson finish uh, in you know within about 20 seconds. So a little lackluster, I'd have to say. Uh, we didn't get the you know the crisp knockout that we wanted, but I mean we still got about ten seconds of Anderson Silva ground and pounding uh, Chelson. I think the amazing thing about Anderson, uh, not just his evasion, not just his toughness, his well-roundedness, is I don't think we've ever had a fighter in mixed martial arts that um, is so accurate and does so much damage when he lands. I mean when he lands strikes, doesn't matter what it is, you know. Um, he, he really does make guys look amateurish. He really does. I mean, same thing happened to Vitor Belfort. You know, Vitor's doing well. Everything's going well. Next thing you know, Anderson just lands, you know, this uh, crescent kick, if you want to call it that or whatever, right to the chin and, and just makes Vitor look like an amateur. And he does the same thing against Shail Sun and now, you know. And uh, actually, in the first fight, too, if you watch it again, <coughs> right before Anderson submits Shail with the triangle choke, um, to me, it actually looks like Anderson stunned him because uh, what Anderson did was was uh, in you know in the fifth round right before he landed the triangle he sort of rolled uh, and then he came up with a with um, I don't know if you want to call it like a right cross so to speak and he actually hit Chael uh, you know right somewhere around you know the chin uh, you know his uh, I guess would be his left side of his face I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly and then Chael just sat there after so actually in the first fight too even though um, you know a lot of people probably haven't looked at it in great detail the ending of it he actually stunned him first and then slapped on the triangle he he you know brought the leg over and he didn't just bring it down he like he, you know he brought it down with force and then the other one and then choked him out but he stunned him first too you know so that strike that he landed man even from his back you know Anderson just absolutely crazy man with the amount of power accuracy everything like that same thing against Forrest Griffin he just makes these guys look like amateurs <laughs> he runs out of the cage which by the way he did again tonight I don't know why the hell he was doing that against Cito I was like where is he going what is he doing you know I mean 
I just, I did not understand that at all, what he was doing. But anyway, that's another topic. But Anderson Silva, you know, uh, regardless of what anybody wants to say, I think at this point, everyone can pretty much, it's pretty conclusive. I know people will still want to argue, but in my opinion, I'd have to say Anderson Silva is the greatest of all time. And I now move Fedor to number two. Uh, I'd have to say so, because um, just to defend that, you know, he's, he had, Anderson Silva never lost in the octagon. Now the one guy who was like, like really, really, really close. Now there were a couple other guys who were pretty close before too, but the guy that got the closest to beating him, he has beaten again and, and done it in pretty, uh, pretty amazing fashion. I mean, he didn't take almost any damage the first round, and then the second round, you know, again made a miss and then finished it pretty quickly. So, was it exciting? I was pretty excited. This was a pretty good card. We got to see uh, Kung Lee fight against uh, Patrick Cote, and he narrowly won that fight, uh, which. I think probably he was expected to win that fight probably uh, by finishing it. But, you know, again, Kung's all, you know, he's 40 at this point. So he's getting on in the years, too. You know, I don't know how many more fights he's going to have either. Uh, Damian Maya breaks um, Don Young Kim's uh, rib. At least that's what they said. But he just landed in a weird, you know, when he went down, it, it seemed like he might have almost got spiked on his head or, you know, something. He just went down in a weird way. And both of their body weight was on him, and he went down and tried to brace himself with his arm, but it wasn't enough. It may, it might have just been that he landed on his neck or something, and you know, if something like that happens, it shock your whole body. You know, you lose control of everything. If something happens to your neck, you know, or you know, if you get slammed or spiked, your whole body can just go numb. So maybe that was what happened to him, or maybe it was uh, maybe it was a broken rib. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Um, Tito against Forrest was decent, you know, decent. Um, Decent fight. I, I was pretty excited. I thought Tito was going to knock him out a couple times. But uh, really, in that fight, was biggest thing was cardio. I think, uh, you know, Forrest Griffin is a good example of how hard work can really, you know, uh, transform anybody. Because Forrest, to me, doesn't seem like a guy that's really that gifted in terms of striking, uh, you know, that much. Like, he's never really, I can't remember him ever knocking anybody out. Has Forrest ever knocked anybody out? I don't think so. You know, he, but he just throws in such volume and he sets such a high pace. That he makes other guys tired, you know. Tito is more skilled than Forrest, I think, definitely in wrestling and probably striking too. I think Tito is probably a better striker, but uh, Forrest just got way better cardio, so he just makes the other guy tired. Did the same thing against Shogun. Obviously, Shogun's a better striker. Obviously, Shogun's a better fighter. But um, you know, in terms of cardio, if you can just wear guys out, then you know, if if you lose if you lose your lungs, man, it doesn't matter how good you are, you're done. You know, and I think that's a big thing, you know, with the guys as they get older. Tito and Kung and all of them, you know, it, once you get on an age like that, it's, it's hard to, to have good cardio and be able to, you know, run against these other guys. So anyway, uh, it was a good night of fights. I enjoyed it. Um, again, like I said, uh, you know, the the fight was a little lackluster. And at the end, it was really weird. After after Anderson beats him and walks away like, it, like he'd gone for a walk or something, <laughs> it seemed like he was tired or anything. And then they like, you know, Chael obviously does not want you know, Anderson sort of calls him over and he comes over and obviously Chael looks miserable. He's like, you know, <laughs> he doesn't want to be there. And, uh, and Anderson's, you know, like being all friendly and, and perfect, you know, sportsmanlike and all that. But I guess that's good. You know, kill him with kindness. It's almost more, you know, when, when you act that way, it's almost sort of being like smug, you know, it's not being, you know, it is being sportsmanlike, but it's like he's being so nice He's being smug, you know what I'm saying? So that's the way Anderson dealt with it afterwards. Uh, do I think he was being honest? I mean, I don't know. I just think he was, you know, he didn't want to be on Sportsmanlike because he's, he's gotten in trouble for that before against Damian Maia. <laughs> and at the same time, you know, I think he kind of thought it would make Chael even more angry if he was, like, super nice to him after. Because, you know, if Chael won, he was not going to act that way. So, but, yeah, uh, I mean, if they, if they do another one, you know, Chael against Anderson again, maybe in a year or two or a couple years because – who else is Anderson going to fight him? He's beaten almost everybody at this point. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd really be that excited for it. Because uh, I think as long as Anderson comes in healthy, he should probably beat Chael pretty much. Uh, I mean, last fight, I really do think that he was he was injured. Because, you know, as we see this one, like, you know, and well, obviously he had improved his takedown defense too. He did great in the second round at, you know, uh, nullifying uh, Chael's takedown defense. And then Chael got sloppy and threw that stupid spinning, <laughs> spinning back fist. And totally missed by a mile. That was just funny to watch. It's pretty funny. So, anyway, uh, good night of fights. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I enjoyed it, but like again, like I said, you know, just a little overhyped, a little lackluster in the end. But whatever.
Anderson wins. Um, greatest of all time. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one later.